Another episode of fly tying with raptors. Um, today we're gonna tie some uh, trout candy, some sea run brown gold, some sand eels. I don't know what you want to call it. So um, these little flashy flashes um, work very very well, and they are easy to tie. And for this kind of bait, I'm using the Partridge salmon stinger, yeah, size four. Yeah, some craft fur made by Hairline, some extra selected. We're gonna pick out some uh, craft fur in a, in a darker color so that you can see the contrast a bit more. Some uh, head drawn um, lateral scale and thin, just for the, the uh, side line there. And a bit flash, a longer flash by head drawn, wings and flash, and some ice product up from Hairline too just to support the bait a bit twinkling. First we're gonna do is to give us a, a bit security. So we need to tie in a thread base. For this I'm using my all round uh, thread, the uh, Vivus GSP 100 denier. Flash laying around here, everywhere flash. So we secure it, lock it in place with a zap gap, just a small amount. I'm gonna glue it in a bit more later. Now I tie in some lead wire, but just a bit to give this Bait, nice jig action, not too fast that you get snacks all the time fishing it. So be calm with the thread. Yeah, and now it's time to cover it a bit. Go back, and then you have, as you can see here, the thread laying over the lead. You can do that once again. lock it in place very good. We have ma two main uh, tying points here. One is at the back. Again some zapper gap just to secure it. One is in the back and one is in the front. So for the back we need for the top some, some darker um, crafter. Just a little amount, very, very, very tiny piece, or a tiny clump of uh, of craft fur. We can get out the short fibers. Or we get out the short fibers so that you only have the nice long one, a bit tapered. Tapering is never a failure. measure out our length of the bait get this tiny piece on the top lock it a bit in place as you can see we have it only on the top you can correct it a bit then I turn around my my hook get my sand colored um, crafter out, take the same amount of my material. Too much. Again, as long as you like it. Get out the, the fluffy part. Measure it again. 
put it in position and lock it the first time. If you do it underneath the hook, there's a bit uh, that's a bit more tricky because you have to pull the fibers or you have to separate them first and then you have to pull them in, in their position. Twist it a bit, maybe with your tying needle. It's possible. If not, with a strong nail, but beware of the sharp partridge hooks. They're gonna scratch your nail and maybe you hurt yourself. So, I separated it now. Again, lock it in place, twist it a bit, have a look if it's, uh, if it's fine or not. That suits me, get rid of all the excess. to cut it really really close as close as possible sorry for my hand now but that's it bit fine-tuning again going around What I do to cover the lead a bit, because it's dark, um, I take a bit of the uh, leather scale opal, the big one, or the fat one, so you can provocate a bit more shine of the bait too. Let's lock it down. And a bit of super glue. And just wrap it around the leg, let easily. cover the middle because uh, I won't uh, take as much vo uh, as much material in the front as you might prefer or um, as you might think it's only less to get the body uh, in a good shape for the back to not make a tangle here I just get some uh, of my favorite resin on the tail here, on the tail section, right uh, at the spot where the hook band starts. So then you can pull it as you like it. Take your UV torch and then lock it in place. It's good, locked, and then to secure my letter scale, I just cover it with my UV resin, the right step, thin, right step is a great product, right step uh, cures in only a few seconds and it's hard like a rock, and I mean it, hard like a rock, it's it's very, very, very good. You have to try that. Again. Harden it. Hard. So, next step. Um, we built the, the back and the belly part. And to 
today and now we're gonna start with the belly so you take a bit more than you took for the tail again I get rid of my shorter fibers you can select which length the shorter fibers should have. Um, you just have to place your fingers where the back it should be, um, more in the back to get all the, the short fibers out, as you can see now here. They are not short no more, they are a bit longer. I don't need their tapering, I don't want to be the tail after the body like, uh, like an exploded uh, haircut. Just want to lay it on the first layer and it should be, as you can see here, tapered. So I just need to tie it in and, and that point, I turn it around, do it like this. Get it in place. Oh yeah, it looks good. That's the belly part and you can see the, the slightly shining opal uh, leather scale. I like it a lot. So the darker green for the back. Sort my fibers. Now I measure it on the length of the uh, belly part fibers. And as you can see, I'm just pulling my finger against here while I'm pulling the thread down. So you stop the material from turning around. You can't stop it from turning around. Now same procedure as uh, with the first tank point. We need to cut the the material off we don't need and just pull it on top. Zack. when you when you applied it and hardened it and fished it and smashed it against the rock and stuff like that they won't break you know your bait is the last long your bait is the last longing bait then and I don't want the material in the inside start to turn on the on the hook shank so every tying point needs to be locked in place so we need a bit of shine I said we have longer and shorter fibers these two um, yeah I will have a look I think I take both because in the taste head section we need a bit of shimmer in the back pull it out and just slightly pull some fibers out they're very long you can just rip them in length You know what I mean. We don't want to make it look like like extraordinary. Okay, just for the back. They're gonna sort themselves. Brushing it. We can help to to make it a good shape. So. Ones. 
shorter ones too. Not that much. The shorter ones I'm gonna lay around the whole body. is half done. The tying section is almost finished. We don't need much turns here. We got the Zap a gap. That fits. And now it's playtime. I love to play with the with the new resin of Ray Zap. It's a really good stuff. Easy to work with. Does what I want. So you check your fibers again. For the next step I only pick up a, a, a tube which is known for pike flying uh, pike fly fishing too. With the tube I can as you can see I can get uh, the whole stuff in place as I prefer it. You only have to have uh, you all always have to have a look for both sides. Just pull it. A clear tube would be better, I think, but it's okay. Um, just push it, not pull it, um, right to the point where I uh, did the red zap tin the first time. Again, we give our tail a bit stiffness in here, just uh, to not tangle while fishing. Keep calm with it, you know. Don't have to push or force yourself. You have time, the right step will be hardened when you hit it or hit him with the light. So just get it in, in position. Only a few seconds. Hard. More on the belly part, so you can always correct yourself. Don't do that much the first time. Do it with a little, I mean, like like steps. So you can't do anything wrong. Powerful light. It even gets through the material, through the craft fur, to the the right zap. So now we can pull off our tube. So you see the trick now. The body is even. Now we have a side line here. And now we cover the body the first time with a right zap. Again, be calm. important to get the to get the uh, right zap thin massaged in all the fibers you have on the front part of the bait so that you have an even nice texture you can see the sparkle a bit coming coming out now that's even cool of uh, a cool option of this stuff it 
it makes the sparkle get alive. So this is our first layer just to get the material fixed. When you have these little fibers sticking out here, you can just pull them off. This flash here, pull them off. And you are done. Okay, so now we want to have a, a side line, a flanking light. You know what I mean? Flanking side line. It's very, very easy found out a trick for me. I don't know if it's a trick for you, but um, for me it's very easy. You always have a bit uh, of glue on the top of the uh, dispenser. Sorry, I need my left hand. And you just get your, your lateral scale through this stuff. And then you can easily fix it on the bait where you like it then just take your lighter your UV torch fix it and the other side so where's the other half I cut it out there sometimes it's so hard to see where this thin letter scale is Again, I covered it a bit. good that's uh, a security uh, option we have for these little bottles oh, sorry I need the eyes first uh, the eyes there and yeah. um, this security option uh, for kids um, makes it hard to open the bottles and um, that's, that's a very cool feature I got kids I want to take care of my kids so another point to buy right there here I take four millimeter um, 3D eyes. You can pick the eyes you prefer. Um, if they're flat or 3D, hollow, I don't know. I don't care. It's just to give, it's mostly empty, I use it a lot. It's just to give, just a little drop here. Sorry for talking twice uh, it's just to give uh, your bait a little um, lively appearance so with a thick one you can put your eye on have a look for straightness and then again take your lighter harden it and the eye is, is fixed Again, thick one. It's very, very important when you put on your eyes. Again, a, a thick, uh, uh, a little clump of glue. Um, when you put on your eyes, to do it completely straight. Same, the same eight, yeah, and the same position you know what I mean again harden it it's in position now so thin thick for the next step I'm gonna take the thick and just begin shape our body between the 
hide some stuff. When you got enough on it, so enough is, yeah, what is enough? Um, that's that's a kind of uh, experience by using it. Um, when you got enough of it, you start having a look for um, for equally disturbed material, disturbed, dis dis distributed. You can do that with your needle have a look for clearness of the hook eye it would be a real pity you might get it free but with a rate zap that's work you know I don't want to work I just want to have fun while tying and while casting it so look for straightness Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, just turn it a bit. If you see some bubbles, which are caused by my tiny needle, just um, tease them a bit, and then they're gonna disappear. So turning it, turning, and then you can harden it. feature too is the less smell of the the right zap my wife asked me yesterday huh why doesn't it smell because every time I used my normal glue my glue I used before um, she was like oh, what you doing there because I'm tying in the living room and you might know your wife but it's okay she's right at that moment yeah I take some uh, normal adding in orange this time you can take every color you prefer I take this and then we have a look for the next step yeah um, yeah we have an option to create a bit of sparkle Normally I uh, I have different uh, different uh, stuff to, to do that. I have a little sparkle here from my from my girl's desk, my daughter's desk. It's a pearl sparkle. Then you add some thin UV resin rate zap. Only just a bit. And then you start mixing it up. I like that sparkle stuff, you know, but uh, beware, don't get it over the eyes, that uh, looks not natural, so I'm gonna get a bit of that stuff in the back, and distribute it a bit on the sides too, it's only a thin layer. But it, had, it has a very, very good effect, in my opinion. by sliding the needle over it like this and you take that all off and you can just put it in a in an old uh, paper sheet or stuff like that yeah it's 
So we are mostly done. Just turn it a bit and wait for the material um, getting getting even. If it doesn't want to get even, just do like this a bit. So the vibration will help to get it uh, even and smooth. Again, harden it. Then the last layer of our thin resin will make it durable as hell. quite good doesn't tail sharp hook very very important yeah good sparkle um, hope you liked it um, if yes give me a, a subscribe to my channel if you want to see the news upcoming the next time uh, just hit the bell and yeah Raptors fishing will uh, give you more and more input about that cool stuff Thanks a lot.